Hey guys, yep, it's a beautiful morning and uh, you are seeing the Sniper Circle where we're doing some updates, but that's not where I want to start. Uh, Ada, 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 Ada. Um, yep, 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 yep. So you got this particular setup. Uh, we warned you of the macro setup. And by the way, this is an inverted chart. Why? Because you see things differently upside down than you do the right way around and you balance for bear bias or bull bias. 95% of you have bull bias. Someone like me who sees immense downside uh, is pretty dystopian on economic context is expecting US CPI to continue to validate a very belligerent Fed who will continue to threaten to tighten to tighten is having an ex uh, likely to have a bias to the bear side and I need to adjust for that too. So we look at charts both upside down and the right way around and I'm showing you ADA upside down. Uh, in fact, let's pivot over to this. Let's show you all the charts. So were you in our premium group? Yesterday, you would have received a chart and you would have already known we are on red alert because I've been emphasizing that we are squeezing at very, very low volatility levels on a very short time frame. And actually, I'm not a short time frame trader. We're trading a macro structure on ADA on a much bigger time frame. We'll show you that in a minute um, in between IOTA and one or two other things. Um, but we're on a macro time frame on ADA. This is your setup that we've been calling for quite a while. We gave this to you free, even though our premium guys had the chance to get set up on it first properly. Um, and then on a smaller time frame, we started to observe. And this is what we do. We start focusing. You see, when you're hunting, sniper tactical message and lesson coming up right here. Sniper tactical. In red, I put it. When you're hunting, you don't walk around looking through your scope. That's not what you do. You walk around with big picture view. You're looking for where's the action um, going to be? Where should I be? What's the highest probability? So you're going by waterways where the buck and the deer might be. Um, and you're looking over there. Um, but you're going at the right times, early in the morning and at dusk, etc. Uh, not in the heat of the day necessarily. Um, you're choosing when you are observing. This is a sniper tactical. We have the macro set up on ADA. Then, once we have the macro set up, that's like having your buck in sight, but it's behind the trees. Now you're watching through your binoculars and occasionally through your scope, waiting for a clean headshot. And for that, you drop time frames. For that, you drop time frames. So this is what we are doing. You might not have known that because you're not in the premium group, but we are watching for setups on the lower time frames. So what we ended up seeing here was this. On the 15 minute, that's right. So remember, this is not trading the 15 minute. We're trading the larger chart that I've shown you, that I also showed even free views, that is on a daily, which is this bigger structure here, again, that I've already highlighted once, but I'll highlight once again. So understand where you are. You're on the macro. This is called 360 degree analysis looking across all crypto, recognizing that Bitcoin has been super low vol and is about to break to the downside too, in our general opinion. Um, that we have got the setups we want on the best alts. Remember, I also showed on uh, Cardano that Bitcoin had fallen to a new low here and then ground out further more lows and that Cardano had actually held a level for a while. Why? Because ADA had uh, a fork that was coming and the people felt optimistic about it. So Cardano held a level longer and actually set up the structure while Bitcoin came down lower here, made a lower low and a lower low, etc., and was basing out more. And some of that selling pressure got satiated. Cardano, no, 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 good things happening. We got a fork, but you know, there's gonna be pumps. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do something different to everybody else. And what that does is it exhausts the buyers. It exhausts the support. Uh, and actually, it's overperformed on the going down side. Isn't it nice to see the buck uh, over there? There was a baby that dropped. It's a tiny one. You can see a tiny one somewhere. Um, where's the baby? Um, no, anyway, he's not there. Back to the technical chart. So what you then do is you look through the magnified view. The magnified view is going to take you right into the lower time frames. And this is what we were doing. And this single setup, without the big setup alone, would have brought any sensible trader of moderate size into our program. 
any sensible trader of moderate size into our program. Um, here you go. This is it inverted on our inversion. So we look at up and down, but it's sometimes easier to explain. People don't see the inverted setups. I train people to see shorts by helping them under recognize them by turning them upside down for them until they get used to saying that's a great quality inverted because it looks differently on the normal way around. Only in retrospect could everyone see, oh, that's a downside. I've been looking at these all the time. The structures repeat. So I have the trained eye for this. And this is what you can learn too by going to themarketsniper.com and booking a call. You can build wealth in reset times at a time where everyone is going to be impoverished. Most people will be impoverished, except the billionaire class who will be buying up all your assets for pennies on the pound. Um, anyway, so what did the 15 minute show us? That was the chart that the 15 minute showed us. And what does that give to you? Well, um, just as a bit of social proof, PL, good profits, I can tell you. In fact, they've moved on since then. Um, they're more like that right now. <laughs> they've just expanded. So, just look, I've been doing this for a while, so I'm not trading the smallest size, but in the last few days, uh, literally been in and out ADA a little bit, waiting for the key moment to come. And in the last few days, it's worth 220 grand. Uh, the soul is worth 112. You're, you know, you're talking about 300. Then you've got another 47. You're talking about 360, 370 odd grand. I'm not even telling. Uh, for someone who's a medium large account, a small account, you could have done exceptionally well shorting this market. You don't need to be huge to make 10 grand profit out of today's events could have been a cinch on the 15 minute alone. Never mind that we intend to hold these over for further downside in due course but you may get a technical rally as we go into what is going to be the us cpi number you could be joining us and you make massive profits yeah love the big fluffy dog who doesn't love a big fluffy dog that's how it was doing then now you can see it now it's even gone uh further uh da -da 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 -da. let's show you on the 15 minutes Let's show you on the 15 minutes further blow off through our initial target. This is showing real, real skittish markets, guys. Why is this happening today? Why was it getting low volatility for a while? Because it's all about the Fed. It's not about Glassnode and them saying, well, it's potentially accumulation. You know, we're getting quite close to previous lows on this and that internal uh, index. It's about the macro. Macro dominates. It doesn't matter you've got a great apartment. The entire ground is shaking. The apartment building is going to fall over. It doesn't matter. Stop analyzing the apartment. The apartment stands on ground. The ground is being shaken. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do on how relatively low you are on a pure multiple yada yada fish based. Uh, the point of the matter is that is all details when you're in a stable market environment and the crypto drivers are the main drivers. Right now, this is a Fed market. F-E-D. It is a Fed driven inflationary market. Sniper tactical. When the wind is blowing like a gale, don't expect to get a headshot. It doesn't matter how well you shoot. It doesn't matter how far your shooter throws a stone down the barrel. It doesn't matter how still the buck stands for you. The wind is too strong. The, 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 it's going to carry and it's gusty and it's not consistent. It's very, very difficult shot. Today, Thursday, 2.30 my time um, in the morning in the US, you will get CPI month on month and CPI year on year. And the data generally comes out to validate the Fed's course of action. The data generally has been coming out to validate the belligerent must tighten Fed's course of chosen action. In other words, nothing is taking them off their path. That is, this is a belligerent tightening. They were late to inflation when we said it's absolutely there. It's been in the asset prices. It's been in everything. It's been coming for a while. They were late to tighten and now they will over tighten. They are designed to be behind the curve. They are designed to be inflationary by nature and allow it to take hold because it enriches their billionaire class and it forces the crash in assets that all the weekends will be shaken out and the weekends will be everyone because it's going to be such a big crash except the billionaire classes. You have to preserve yourself in these times. This is not about crypto. It is about the expectations of the Fed. And we were saying this 
Two years ago, now everyone starts talking about macro and crypto, but there's still all the on-chain analysis guys. Forget it. It doesn't matter how beautifully and where you hung the TV in your apartment. It's coming off the freaking wall, bud. The whole building's going to get shaken to, the, you know, to its foundations. Anyway, so this is what's going down in crypto. That is what's happening in ADA. We also gave you Sol. We're also uh, doing very nicely on the Sol move so far. And you can expect more to come. This is going to be a secular big, big move i expect i'm expecting and can absolutely be wrong but i'm expecting at least validation for what has been discussed in the crypto markets people have been saying uh, bitcoin has never been more uh, it's going sideways when fiat is going down no it's been measured against the dollar and the dollar uh, it, it's going sideways after overperforming on spilling from 69k and it's gone sideways three or four times on its route to go down. It has been under supported. In other words, it will likely fall. Hash rate is exploding. Who cares? You can have the most secure network in the goddamn world. You can have a pumper mental in hash rate. Nobody's buying the token. It's going down. These are people in absolute state of denial, desperately trying to cling onto something that is going to give them what they want and hopefully lead to upside they're wanting you to buy to try keep their bags pumped to try keep their bags from fat they'll say anything eventually they salesmen they end up salesmen they're trapped in a belief system desperate for you to hold up the asset values of what they've got moon boys are not your friend in it when it's not moon season i'm sorry moon boys are not your friend even in moon season because they're never going to tell you the real truth so if you think all these alts are going to start falling, the BT dominance will be climbing right now, but it's going to battle to hold if that number comes in. And once Bitcoin goes down, those relatively strong, um, those relatively strong like ADA at one point due to its fork alts that now have downside catch up to do are already spilling. This is what's going down. So your BTC DOM is slightly up. I would expect Binance DOM to be slightly up. but. I saw a flag for Ethereum. I haven't even looked at it this morning. It wouldn't shock me if that's now broken to the downside through its flag. It's seen not too huge from Ethereum yet, which is why, but it is leaning. It is broken and it's little pippy and it's still holding. So some of them are holding on for the number and somebody or some of them are already pre spilling. That is not bullish structure Ethereum. By the way, it's not our chosen short, but I think it goes down. Um, we've told you what our chosen shorts are, and they are properly performing. Let's have a look at crypto market cap. Who's gone down the most in the recent days? Let's have a look out of the big caps. And remember, we're always talking about the big caps. We've never taken you, never taken you into these tiny manipulated uh, market cap tokens that we've held or been given pre-issuances. Uh, don't get caught by these channels. Any channel that is ever held and sold into a live stream that they're pumping should be treated like sin. They are using you to enrich themselves directly. They are stealing from you. Ignore them. So here you go. 12.5 12, uh, 12 on Solana, 16.4. In the top 10, we have given you the two biggest fallers. And I mean doggy as well. There is my holding over the last seven days that I have been in. There they are, down 16%. Get that flipping advert away. Why maybe later? Why fuck off forever? 16.3, 12.6, 11.84. There they are. See anything else in the top 10 that's fallen harder? Binance is slightly stronger but is also part of the total three we gave you total three we said to you this is the one you want to watch with possible cutouts for xrp and um bnb but binance's dominance will probably take a little bit of stick with that that was the total three we even said to you a fractal is forming an inverted fractal is forming right here if you're following us on the twitter and the YouTube we said inverted fractal is forming on our neckline of 360 and my apologies 400 billion 400 billion for total three you're sitting on it 
400 billion and now you've skidded through it. That is not a positive development. It is not a positive development. We showed you the macro and said this can go down to 140 or even 112 on the bigger time frame. This is a conglomerate of tokens, excluding Ethereum and Bitcoin, which are the majors. And there you go, 141 and 113. With a, with, and we explained that there's two possible outcomes on the head and shoulder. Everything is slowly walking in our way. And that never before have I mean, seen more YouTubes on on-chain analysis. Why Bitcoin's never been more undervalued. It's under-supported. There's a massive difference. There's a difference between value and price. This is a macro environment where things are getting destroyed. The regulators are coming. Everything is changing. It's not liberty money anymore. The nature of what you once thought it was under the fairy tale of Satoshi Nakamoto is changing entirely with all the centralized exchanges being kowtowed to governments and IRSs and all over the world. The thing isn't what you thought it was. It isn't what it used to be. The institution stormed in, now they're storming out. And you aren't buying enough to keep it supported. And there could be more storming out and it can go lower. Don't sit grimly holding on and watch it all wash away. We sit with a community of people making money while you are dying. We're the ones that warned you. There's also a dollar general strength uh, period coming now. And you're going into a CPI number which could mean more interest rate rises, more pain for the pound, the euro. Macro is dominating. XRP, one of the ones we said, small minor exception. It's still not a hold. It's still not a hold. It just might go down less. It just might go down less. But there you can see a little bump in its dominance and uh, normally Binance as well. But Binance has had a difficult week. We'll see if it's managed to crawl a little bit higher a little bit coming off now but it will crawl higher in general in our view until it's made the 6.1 percent but it's down 10 percent so even if you're in the best dominance tokens they down how much is xrp down xrp is still down on the seven days 7.94 percent you want to celebrate losing eight percent and say i was in the best token well it's apart from bitcoin and ethereum that is yeah yeah, these guys are still, they're down 6% in a week. And Bitcoin has still got a potential spill to occur on the CPI number if that CPI number comes as expected. A possible. I wouldn't want to hold into that. But people are. They're going to hold grimly, but wait till the algo starts selling. Wait till those that uh, get the confirmation of the number or the insider leak. You could get just a prior the number, uh, a sell off in Bitcoin. But if we're wrong and CPI comes in a little bit lower and it looks like it's all getting win, it could get a rally. It can get a rally. And we could be short term wrong. We could give back some of our profits. Monthly chart. You want to buy and glass node call that as near bottoms because of your in crypto indicators all your your special formulas that you've checked this is a macro driven we are in this month and it is incomplete how do you think that month ends you've got an inverted hammer where you attempted to rally and were smashed back down lower than when you started the money on the previous candle that is a complete candle there was an attempt to rally. You got as far as 25K and you were sent all the way back down to the place you came from in that month. That's your last two months coming into this. This is a pause at a previous localized high. Four other reasons why you paused here. We've given it to you countless times. Flag target made. Uh, head and shoulder target still outstanding down here on 12 out of the head and shoulder that came out of that. We've done this all countless times for you. You pause for a reason. Key level of significance, 20K. Previous high. Four numbers of reason why you might have progress decay on the downside for a while here. Now the time has come. You have a CPI number coming today. You've paused this long. The volatility has got super low. There is no news to lift this token. And there is a pending news for coming at. Look at this price behavior, how low that has become. And every time it goes up, it's being sold off, my friends. This is squeezy, squeezy, Japanesey, ask the yen how it works out for you. That is it. Leaning, leaning, leaning. That 20K level could be the next one to go. You've got a flag level for around the 12. You've got a head and shoulders from here, left shoulder, big head. 
and right shoulder all to come other people are making money very few they're usually hvf traders by the way our fx cm our fx broker did him on the market sniper an interview this was what he said he wants to come and do we affiliate introduced met them they're very good guys um and he wants to come and do an hvf course because all his best clients that are actually making alpha have come from one community ours and without asking he volunteered this and said it i said i'd tweet it out i must tweet it out i'll do it today uh there's no problem with it being shared uh well that should tell you something that's on a totally different market it's not even crypto i can tell you if there was an exchange a crypto exchange that cared and knew us enough and wondered uh, geez who's uh who these guys we would probably get a message or a call uh from them too if we uh, knew any of these exchanges sufficiently well enough or they cared enough i'm not sure they care guys this is a serious event happening with the insure um the cpi number today you have watched the market sniper the crypto sniper and the reset sniper hit the like if you think you're getting value free alpha ad free on this channel later than the community i'm sorry they get to be served first but you get to see the effectiveness of what we are doing right here in this market right now you don't have to die. You don't have to grimly hold on. You don't have to see your value absolutely get crushed. You don't have to wonder and hope that some pure multiple is going to come in and rescue you when it's all about the macro. When the earthquake comes, make sure you, you're the guy selling or buying or long buildings insurance. Don't be the guy trying to fit the TV on the wall and saying it looks better here, the apartment's worth more. Okay, that's it from me. Catch you later. Get tactical. Get sniper. HVF method, themarketsniper.com. Book a call. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.